I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what to say. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 and something I never thought I would be saying. Today, we're gonna be checking out the brand new Barbie car. Until today, the developers didn't even acknowledge that these things were added into the game. And today they just said, check your message center, head over to your gifts, and you will find both cars. The GMC Hummer and the Chevy Corvette. The GMC Hummer, that's exactly the same as the Hummer we've already got in the game. Boring, not gonna waste my time with that. The Corvette EV is a brand new vehicle to Forza. There is only one of this body style and it actually has unique customization. <laughs> this is certainly one of the cars of... Wait, wait, wait. This is a very important part of the video. <laughs> this is the summer drift. <laughs> I'm not the only one who has this idea. That guy had a bright pink helmet. Geet says there's a small change to the Hummer. I will come to the Hummer in a moment, okay? <laughs> Something else I never thought I would be saying. But this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts about about barbie's corvette i know a lot of people are gonna see this thing and complain and right out of the gate i would like to call those people boring barbie actually uses a lot of car culture like in their actual toys take a look at like some barbie toys that have been sold over the past 20 years and you'll actually see there's a ton a ton of different barbie jeep there's this corvette there's some older corvettes and so on there's actually a whole bunch of really interesting things. And what's really cool about this one is that this is an actual car in real life. For the Barbie movie that comes out soon, they actually built a resto mod Corvette C1 and EV swap the thing for the film. It is a real driving car and it is totally custom. Essentially, what you're seeing though is an advertisement. Barbie actually paid a lot of money to to Xbox and to Forza to promote the new Barbie movie that comes out. However, Barbie didn't pay me. For legal reasons, I just have to say it to remain impartial. Do not go and see the Barbie movie. However, saying that, I've already booked my tickets to go see Barbie. Joke's on you. I'm going to see it and I'm very excited about it. <laughs> Depending on how much horsepower we could get into this thing, it might actually be a great hill climb car. I think we definitely need to take the Barbie Corvette also so drifting. No! No! Yes! Somebody said, imagine Forza adds Barbie's dream house as a home. I would buy that within 30 seconds of it getting added into the game. <laughs> Geed was saying the interior of <laughs> what? what is that? Oh dear, oh dear. We've only got a couple of options in here, but from what I've been told, they are rather spicy. So motor and battery, we can upgrade our motor that we've got in this thing. It's actually 2,800 pounds, so it's a little bit heavier, but we will do some weight reduction. We could upgrade that horsepower to 600 and we can literally double the horsepower. 600 horsepower in a car from the 1950s. This will go terribly. Then we've got some tires. No way we've got all of our tire compounds. We could toss on Hot Wheels semi-slicks, have a mash of Mattel. Maybe we should actually aim for like an A-class build. Let's go with our rally Roses tires. Roses are red, violets are blue, Nick can't drive and blew up his R32. Okay, that is true, but we're gonna gloss over that. This is the reason we were sliding around. The tires are only 185. We can upgrade them to 245, but that's still tiny. And then I need some wheels that most definitely do not match Barbie. What would those be? Let me get some dub rims. Nobody's ever put dub wheels on a Barbie car before. So bone stock, they're 16 inch rims and you could upgrade them to 20 ones. Uh, boys, welcome to the first Barbie donk. Oh my God, we can get race suspension. Look at it on drift suspension. We definitely need to try this thing for drifting because that's going to be incredible. Get some anti-roll bars on there. That is fantastic. The Barbie car has been done dirty. 2,900 pounds and 600 horsepower. When I was told it had spicy upgrades, I didn't know the spicy upgrades were an L. No way. We've actually got advanced paint groups for this thing. So paint group number one, that's the actual body of the car. 
are. For now, let's make that lime green. Group number two is going to be the little side bit thing. Pink carbon fiber, baby. This actually gives you a really good idea of how small this new car actually is. So both of these are the same car. They're both Corvette C1s, but you can see how small the Barbie one is. It's overall probably like a foot shorter. It's also lower than the Corvette C1. Look at like the windscreen. Look how my dude looks over the windscreen versus this guy, which actually looks through it. Look at the cars we're racing against. It's all of the Hot Wheels. Yes. We've got the little Nash Metropolitan. No way. The Diora 2. We've got the Dooley up there. I think there's even a Bone Shaker or two up there. That's sick. Oh my God. Oh, there's no grip. Oh, there is no grip. Barbie car. What happened? Oh no. Oh no. Boys, the, um, we might have a slight problem with this car. The Barbie car is fantastic, providing you are not going around a corner. It accelerates really nice, considering it's an A-class car on rally tires. But there's just no, absolutely no sideways grip. There is, you're gonna need to, that guy had pink wheels, he's apart. You know, I think you might be surprised to hear this, but I have a feeling when they were designing this car, they were designing it to look good and not for racing performance. Whoa, what's going on over here between the two Hot Wheels boys? The more I drive this thing, the more I'm thinking it's gonna be a fantastic drift car. I mean, to be fair, that's what Barbie is, right? It's all about the style point. So going sideways, I guess is actually kind of good. I'm doing this on race suspension. Get the bone shakers, get the bone shakers. Got the bone shakers. Turn! It definitely has a little bit of a steering problem. Very fun to drive. I very quickly want to try this thing on slick tires, maximum grip. To see what it can do, maybe on the oval? I think the only upgrade I need to do is take my rally tires off and put my racing slicks on. What is going on with my tires? My tires are definitely having a little bit of a problem. No way, we've got the two Gen Z. Okay, let's see what we've got. Launch control off the line and then launch control just stops working. We do a massive burnout. Okay, come on, slicks. Come on, slicks. They're not the grippiest thing. The tires just straight up are not very wide on this. So I think we're just gonna slide around constantly. Chat, I'm, I'm literally, I'm wasting my time. This is a terrible idea. The grip levels are honestly atrocious. Now it makes sense why this thing only has 600 horsepower because if it had any more, you would have just been doing a burnout uh, until the, the American border. Okay, very good. There's the finish line. Somehow we clawed P3 back, but that's awful to drive. If I actually want to build a drift car, I need drift suspension. Give me all of that camber. Cool. I've already got my brakes. I've already got my anti-roll bars. I guess the only other thing I'll take, I'll take a drift differential, sure. It's not really gonna matter much. You know what? I'll go for drift tires as well. There's no all-wheel drive, so this is the only drift build we can actually do. Oh my god, I've just noticed the little hearts on the interior. Look at my interior view. My man, this is actually Shaq's view when he drives a convertible. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. If I can maybe even get like 150,000 points, I think that would be quite nice. It's actually very stable. Wow, it's stable. Oh, maybe 150 was too much. I might need a couple of attempts. There's a hundred thousand. Keep going. Keep going, little Corvette. One hundred and fifty thousand. That's not bad. There's kind of just an overall lack of horsepower with this thing. So you've kind of just got to make do with what you've got. Like I would, I would love to run that outside line and chain all of that as one massive corner, but I just, I don't have the horsepower to do it. And there's no option to give me any more. You can actually send it so hard. The suspension is actually set up so nicely for it, but there's no horsepower to actually do anything with. I think I said it right at the start. This car isn't about performing good. It's about looking good. If this car is about looking good, then, well, 
How does a little 360 or something sound? Maybe that's what this is going to be good for because it's got so much grip. I think it's pretty good at this. I know the Barbie car might not be everybody's cup of tea, but it's something fresh and unique and a little spicy. This certainly delivers. Not gonna lie, I wish it had some more customization options. Wink, wink. Imagine the Rimac battery swap and all-wheel drive. This thing probably would have been fully OP, but it would have been so much fun. 